Hello everyone. Welcome to Exam Assure. Today we will be discussing about the notification for the post of Scientist Engineer for Urban Studies at ISRO at the Department of National Remote Sensing Center. So in this video we will be talking about the exam, the nature of the job, the eligibility criteria, the exam pattern, marking scheme, the qualifying criteria for selection as well as the important dates. So as far as the exam is concerned, there are three vacancies for the post of scientist engineer for urban studies. The nature of job for the candidate would be to work on remote sensing and geospatial based research with respect to urban environment, urban growth, microclimate assessment, infrastructure, utilities as well as governance. As far as the eligibility criteria is concerned, the candidate should be between the age of 18 to 30 years as on the last date of application, that is the 12th of February 2024. For the educational qualifications, the candidate should have a degree in either B plan, BE, B tech, in planning or bachelor's in architecture along with a master's either ME, MTech or equivalent in urban planning or regional planning. Now, with that as well, the candidate should have an aggregate of minimum of 60% marks in their master's level or a CGPA of 6.5 on a 10-point scale at master's level. And at the bachelor's level, the candidate should have an aggregate of all semesters coming up to at least minimum of 65% or a CGPA of 6.84 on a 10-point scale. Now, along with that, they've also clearly mentioned in the notification that candidates who have completed their degree would be eligible to apply. So, they've clearly mentioned that educational qualifications required for the post should be possessed, valid and issued as on the last date of the applications. So, in case if you are pursuing your master's currently, you would not be eligible to apply for this post. You need to have your degree in hand before 12th of February 2024. As far as the exam is concerned, you have the exam divided into two parts, that is the written exam and the interview. So, for the written exam, we have three parts, that is part A, B and C. Where part A is about the area or the discipline that is your architecture planning rather. Part B would comprise questions related to aptitude and ability test. And part C would contain some descriptive questions. Now along with this for the marking, if we see part A that is your discipline uh, related topics, it would be a MCQ pattern of questions where you would have 60 questions for 60 marks in total that is one mark each question and a negative marking of 0.33 for every wrong answer that would be given. The total duration for part A would be 75 minutes. For part B that is your aptitude so even that would have MCQ based questions where you would have maximum 15 questions of 20 marks and there would be no negative marking for aptitude. So that would comprise of 30 minutes of time. And part C that is descriptive questions would be again of 20 marks. They've not mentioned the exact number of questions. And this would be for 30 minutes. So if you see part A for 60 marks, part B and C for 20 each, that adds up to a total of 100 marks for the exam. For the passing criteria, they've clearly mentioned that in the written test, the candidate should secure more than 50% individually in each of the parts A, B and C and more than 50% marks in the interview and the aggregate of the written and interview should be more than 60%. That would be the qualifying criteria and for uh, shortlisting the candidates for interview, there would be a ratio of 1 is to 5 that would be followed. As far as the final list selection or the final panel generation is concerned, the, there would be 50% weightage given to written test marks and 50% to interview marks. 
So the last date for application is 12th of February 2024. And they've also mentioned 10 examination centers where uh, you can fill, select while filling up the form for giving the tests. So wish you all all the best and thank you.